Given a set of linear constraints and a linear objective function, we can find an optimal solution by rewriting the system in standard form so that all inequalities are upper bounds, rewriting the objective function so we are seeking to maximize it, introducing slack variables to make the inequalities into equalities, including the objective function as another equation in standard form. This produces our initial tableau. Then, to find a solution using the simplex algorithm, we'll pivot on any row with a negative constant until you have a basic feasible solution, find the free variable with the greatest negative coefficient in the L row, this will be the entering variable and will become a basic variable, find the row with the least non-negative quotient of the constant and the entering variable, the basic variable in this row will become the new free variable. Then lather, rinse, repeat until all coefficients in the L row are non-negative. So as an example of how this might work, we have a company with three types of workers, full-time, contract, and interns. Full-time workers cost 80, contract workers cost 60, and interns cost 5. Each full-time worker can contribute 60 units of labor, while contract workers can contribute 80 and interns 20. However, contract workers require 5 units of labor and interns 10 for supervision, which can only come from full-time workers. In addition, the number of interns and contract workers cannot exceed 10 times the number of full-time workers. A project requires 800 units of labor, and let's find the number of full-time, contract, and interns that minimize the total cost. So our costs are 80 times full-time workers, 60 times a contract, and 5 times the interns. But we want to minimize the total cost, so we want to maximize the negative of the cost. Remember, closest to the floor is farthest from the ceiling. Next, we want to identify our constraints. Now, the amount of labor contributed by the three types of workers is... However, some of this labor is consumed in supervision. Since contract workers require 5 units of labor and interns 10, then 5y plus 10z units of labor are used in supervision and are unavailable for the project. So the amount actually available for the project is... And we need at least 800 units, so this amount is greater than or equal to 800. But remember, only the full-time workers can supervise the contract workers and the interns, so there are 60x units available and 5y plus 10z labor units required for supervision, so we must have 60x greater than or equal to this amount that's required. And finally, since the number of interns and contract workers cannot exceed 10 times the number of full-time workers, it must be less than or equal to 10 times. And so that gives us another inequality. So we'll need to rewrite these in standard form so that these are always less than or equal to some upper limit. And so we get... Adding our slack variables and including our objective function gives us... And so our initial tableau with free variables x, y, z, our objective function l star, and our three slack variables will be... Now, notice that if our free variables are all zero, then c1 must be negative 800, so we don't have a feasible solution. And so we'll pivot on the first row on the x coefficient. That's the first variable in the first equation with a negative constant. So if we pivot this way, this makes x a basic variable, and c1 will be our new free variable. And so we get And now all our constants are positive, and so our basic feasible solution is, which is our starting point. Now y has the greatest negative coefficient in the L row, 
so we'll pivot on y. The quotients of the constant and the coefficient of y are, so we'll pivot on the third row, making y a basic variable and c3 free. And so our tableau becomes, Now z has the greatest negative coefficient, and our non-negative quotients of the constant and z coefficients are, so we'll pivot on z in the second row, making z basic and c2 free. Our tableau becomes, and since all the coefficients of the L star row are non-negative, we can't improve this solution any further. Setting the free variables to zero, and solving for x, y, and z, and since we don't actually care about the slack variables, we find since we can't have a fractional number of workers, we'll have to round these in some fashion. If we round these down, none of our inequalities will be satisfied. And so, after playing around with the numbers a little bit, we find an optimal solution will be found by rounding x to 2 and then leaving y at 9 and z at 2, which will incur a total cost of, which will be our minimum cost that also satisfies all of the constraints.